Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today we're going to go through how I create AOW files for tracks uh, and how I go about setting my folder structure up uh, and then we'll work through how to actually create different types of um, AOW paths, so fastest and block and pits and all that stuff. So uh, I'll try to do it without editing it as much as possible. If there's any times that I'm waiting for R Factor 2 to load, then I'll just cut that. But uh, other than that, it'll be the whole process end to end, and I'll probably break this up into sections too for upload. So this will be part one, how I set up my folder structure. So what you need to do is, first of all, go to your R Factor 2 install directory, wherever that is. Under R Factor, you'll have a folder called mod dev and under that folder you'll have locations so you can see that I've got some tracks that I've been working on or, or I'm currently working on uh, and what I've done and the thing that will probably make life a little bit easier for you if you are going to do multiple tracks is create a an empty folder called assets and under that um, you'll have empty folders for anims, GMT, maps and X maps. So as you can see they're all empty um, and basically you can just copy and paste that into a track as you're doing it rather than create them on the fly. So what we'll do is we'll copy that. I'm going to um, start working on Cadwell Park first. So we will create a new folder here called Cadwell Park. And we'll go into that and we'll just drop that folder structure into there. So what we need to do now is go into your GMass editor and we've got to locate the files that we're going to be working on. So we'll click open and you'll find wherever you've got Cadwell Park installed. So R Factor 2 installed, locations and then the circuit name or wherever it is. So you've got a, a bunch of different mass files here. Each of them are for different things. So you've got animations, GMT, your maps, uh, your main, which contains your scene file and um, your SCN file, sorry, and your AIW, etc. And then this one contains uh, a TTF and a, a DDF file, I believe. A DDS file, sorry. Um, so what you need to do is just click on each of these. So we'll start with the anims and we will edit, select all, and extract. And we will put that into. So you've got to go and find that location, obviously, where you're going to be working on it. We'll put it into the anims folder that we just created before. So that's done quite quickly. And we'll go file open, GMT. A lot more files there, obviously. And then we'll go select all, extract. We'll go down to that folder structure and we'll go to GMT. Extract that. Once that's done, we'll then go open and we'll do maps and we'll select all, extract and then we will go all the way down, find that one and go maps and pop it in there. Now the next two uh, mass files, they need to go in different locations. So the main file, which contains, once you open it, you'll see it, it contains your AOW that you're going to be working on. So you want to select all and extract and pop that in your assets directory and then you want to go file open and open this just the track name dot mass file and it contains that tdf and dds file in there so you want to go select all extract and pop that in the main track folder that you've created that's done. So we can close that now and we'll go back to the folder structure that we've got. We'll go into assets and what you now need to do is edit the .scn file so that this structure here matches the file structure that you've got here, the folder structure. So we'll get rid of this. We know that this needs to be assets and GMTs for us is called GMT um, and we need to get rid of these last three letters on each of these to match our folder name and that's pretty much it so you now this structure now matches for GMT maps and anims your main assets where these files are and the base folder structure as well so close that and save that's all you need to do there you can now bring up uh, factor 2 launcher and jump into dev mode uh, and make sure the track loads. So at this point, just remember that you need to have your wheel connected. So let's click and load into R Factor 2.
So here we are in R-Factor 2. As you can see, we have got Caterwaul Park in here now. And we've selected it and we should now be able to, if you're going to start working on ARW, just make sure that under your session settings, you have no opponents selected. Um, you have the car, it, probably if you're doing it for the first time, it will be um, an open wheeler. So just make sure it's got practice selected, no opponents and set your damage to zero. Um, select the car you want to use and click race. Now this should load without any errors at all. If it does, then we need to make some changes to the um, file structure in the .sen file because we've got a path wrong. Okay, there you go. So we're in Cadwell Park. We've loaded up and we are ready to create an ARW file. So I might end this one here and um, if you can get this far, you're good to go. Um, I hope you enjoyed that guys, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll upload part two as soon as possible. Thanks everyone, bye.